We are having quite a lot of luck this morning, everybody. There we have got some cheetah, some cheetah, two cheetah. Now, if you were with me yesterday, not yesterday, how do we say the thing the last Monday, last week? If you were with me last week on Monday, we were with these very same cheetah in the tree line beyond there that you can see on your screen and they were hunting around. I didn't know if they were males or females. They looked like youngsters to me, but I suspect they're two young males. I could be quite wrong, but that's what we have here. And we're not far from Governor's Camp, uh, which is on the river there. Anyway, very nice to see them here. There are some Tomestones gazelle have been wandering around here, sort of unaware, but I must say, I think those cheetah look like they've eaten rather well in the last little while. So I'm not entirely sure how much feeding they're going to be doing or chasing across these plains. And I'm sure you're all very excited to see cheetah. I am always excited to see cheetah. I think they are fantastic animals, mainly because I haven't spent a huge amount of time with them. And I don't know if you managed to catch the TV show that we had on Friday, and we'll be having it again on Friday at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, Latin Geo Wild. I have to be able to say that very smoothly, you see, so I need to practice it. And there's a coalition of five male cheetah that Scott has been spending quite a lot of time with. They killed two wildebeest the day before the TV show, and unfortunately they didn't kill anything on the TV show, but they're a formidable group that live quite a long way to the east of where we are now. We'll be going through their territory during the course of the morning. Maybe we'll be lucky to see them. He's quite itchy there, isn't he, David? Mm. Shame. I've often wanted to be able to scratch myself with my back foot, but I've been thus far unable to do so. I suppose at my advanced age, it's unlikely to happen. Louise says I could just stretch more, but I think that I'm not sure that Louise understands the, you know, the coming of age. She's still a youngster. Anyway, another beautiful scene. Interestingly, this is one of the very few mornings that it has dawned cloudy and then remained so. And I wonder if we're not going to have a bit more rain. We had a lot of rain yesterday. That's why we weren't out in the vehicle we could only use the river cameras huge dumping of rain in the afternoon and a bit at night hello john you say the cheetahs a thing favorite about monday morning to their david in mm -hmm. fact on our way here we gave a lift to about 74 small school children and, well, I felt very sorry for them because I remembered my Monday, how much I disliked them. Now, David, I'm going to ask you to swing your camera around to the left here. Unfortunately, the picture I was trying to provide for you is now going to be sullied by a vehicle. But they're not Thompson's gazelles, they're Grant's gazelles there, which is quite special. Good morning. Hello. All righty. Well, there are some Grant's gazelles. We will watch and see if the cheetah try and eat them. I don't think they're going to at the moment. Uh, we'll sit here for a little bit longer before we move on. While we do that, I believe that Byron has found a mark in the sand.